feels like it has been forever since I last did a sit down video. I have been pretty much traveling back to back since the beginning of June, but I am back with a, another luggage spotlight for Sterling Pacific, this time featuring their all new 40 liter four wheel luggage was so nice to travel with. I brought this along with me to Sony Camp. I got a lot of compliments on it, especially traveling with Wade to San Diego. This was a nice solid piece of luggage that I was wheeling through the airport and felt very confident in it. I did travel with a check-in luggage just so that I could have all of my clothes and toiletries in there, and I kept all of my equipment, designer bags, jewelry in my carry-on. That's typically how I like to travel when it comes to packing outfits and things like that, because these luggages are definitely meant for protecting what is inside. In this video, I'm gonna talk about Sterling Pacific's new luggage, because the four wheel is just, it is something that I, personally need when it comes to travel. If you watched my last Sterling Pacific video and you saw that carry-on luggage and thought, oh, I really need four wheels, problem solved. They just came out with one and it is on spinners and the entire aesthetic of this suitcase is so beautiful. I can't wait to share it with you guys. So first of all, let's break down the exterior. This luggage is made of reinforced 5000 series aluminum. This is used in the aviation industry due to the high strength to weight ratio. Sterling Pacific uses a customized reinforced alloy for additional endurance that is over 50% more durable than normal 5000 series alloys. Stainless steel rivets that are individually riveted to hold together the corners. The case is held together by an extruded 6063 aluminum frame and each frame comes with a unique Sterling Pacific identification number important for your case's lifetime warranty. A detail that I've always loved is the full grain Italian leather. It adds the right amount of lux to a suitcase. Leather is from an independent tannery based out of a small town of Chiampo in the Veneto region. This is the most durable grade of leather and each case is equipped with an amenity and care kit that includes a leather care wax and cloth. I particularly love seeing what attention to detail a company gives when it comes to premium products. The new 40 liter carry-on has 360 degree wheels. The trolley retracts to a die cast aluminum housing and the top handlebar is wrapped in full grain leather. The TSA double combination latch locks make this really secure as well as easy to get in and out of should you need anything from your luggage or you need to put anything away. I personally love an aluminum and brown combination. It has a very sleek and modern design to it but still a bit of a classic touch especially with those leather bits. Interior has interjecting buckle straps with an internal compression compartment that can be closed with a zipper. This side of the luggage is where I personally like to keep my valuables such as handbags, jewelry, sunglasses, an article of clothing. Sometimes if you're traveling with a carry-on, it's good to have an extra outfit should anything happen to your check-in luggage. Especially if you are traveling a long haul flight, then it's always good to have a little extra something in your carry-on just so that you have it on you. When I'm traveling with handbags, I make sure that they're easy to pack and I make sure that they're always in my carry-on. I never wanna chance it by checking in valuables such as handbags or jewelry or anything like that. Again, this is a suitcase that I have yet to really see out in the wild on my travel days. And if you're looking for something that's a little bit more unique, definitely check out Sterling Pacific. I will have the luggages linked down below. Now, when I brought this to Sony Camp, I made sure that I had my designer bags, my sunglasses, my jewelry on one side, and I had my tech equipment on the other. Because I was going to Sony Camp, I had traveled with my gear, and I have a couple of cameras that I like to travel with. Because I was also traveling with Wade, Wade was my personal bag, and so I had to make sure that everything I personally needed and Wade needed could fit in his carrier as well as this carry-on. And I was very impressed because this was super roomy. Because I've been traveling so much the past few months, really was apparent the differences I had between this luggage and my other luggages. One of my favorite things is probably these latches. And what I loved about this is that it was so easy to kind of pop in and out of it. Just love the sound of this too. It's so much easier to close compared to other aluminum luggages where you kind of have to latch it on top and then bring it down. The interior of this is also so roomy and I never felt like I was squishing my items. There are times when that freaks me out. I'm just like, oh my gosh, something's gonna break inside it. But this was really solid. And San Diego is about a five to six hour flight from New York. This also fit really easily. I had no issues bringing this up and down. When it comes to traveling, I try and make sure that I'm bringing bags that I know are going to be very practical, and useful, but still cute, which is why the Jody is kind of like my workhorse because I love the way it looks, but it also packs really well and it's so light. I'll usually do the first layer with a bag and then I will go in with either a sweater 
or a jacket. In particular for San Diego, I packed this row corduroy jacket that I got on sale. I just love finding things on sale that I've been eyeing since it was full price. So I brought this jacket along with me in case it got cold on the plane. Had my jewelry, my sunglasses. I try and pack minimal jewelry when I'm traveling unless I know I have a special event. But even then, I really try and keep my valuables to a minimum. I never want to feel like it's too much of a risk to travel with things. But another thing that is a must is having an air tag in your suitcase because you just never know. And I love to track everything. I also love when this side of the luggage has zipper rather than the clasps and straps because there have been so many times that I've traveled like that and things would just spill out and I'd have to open things super carefully. But with this one, because it was fully enclosed with a zipper, I never had to worry. So this is a great place to put things that you know you don't have to use on your flight. On this side of the luggage is where I like to keep my camera equipment in case I need to reach for it. And I have learned to just travel with something like this, which is a pouch where I would have my Kindle, my cable, sanitizer, and it's perfect to just kind of pull out of the luggage and keep next to my seat and it has everything that I need when it comes to traveling. Highly recommend this if you're traveling long haul flights as well. There have been so many times that I have just been rummaging through my luggage. I was like, oh, I need this, this, this. But ever since I got this pouch, it's felt like a travel hack and it's the only thing I need. So I make sure that I pack this with everything that I might need on flight. It's just so much easier to have everything ready to go. And so usually I will take this out before I even board or as I'm getting settled into my seat just so that I have it and I don't have to worry about ever reaching for my luggage during the flight. All right, well, I have about a week before I'm off to my next work trip. By the time you're watching this, I'm already on said work trip. But if you're interested in checking out Sterling Pacific, I will have them linked down below and I will see you all in the next video.